How are we doing? Welcome back into the den. First impressions, a mail call. I purchased from AP Shape Co. the newest uh, fibers from Mula. It's their S uh, Mula STF Serrano. And that's 37% organic fibers. Um, I did purchase the extra dense 25 millimeter. And so the extra dense uh, is supposed to have 20% more fibers than the regular density. Talking with Andrew, he said that the fibers seem to be a little thinner and that they don't have as much backbone. So he is setting these a millimeter deeper than what he normally would. Um, when I purchase these brushes from companies like Andrew, he's got this taped really well, using the chopper from uh, Hendrix Classics to open it up. Um, when I purchase brush, when I purchase brushes from people like Andrew, I have them set the knot. I'm very capable of setting knots. If you've seen my content, uh, we've talked about it. And in fact, in this box should also be two handles that I'll be setting some knots in. Not today on video. I got tons of knots though. Um, I want to set this uh, Umo Sparrow into it and one of my handles that I purchased. So anyways, when I, when I buy knots from companies like Andrew, I have them set the knot for me to the same depth, to the same specifications that they would for anyone else. That way I'm more likely to be able to review a brush um, in, in a manner that would be easier to replicate how you might buy it. And so that's my whole purpose of doing it that way. If I buy it and you tell the artisan, you know, just set it however, you know, you think is best. And then that way, my goal, does that make sense? And I'm kind of trying to have it set the same way that you might, um, because that is one thing that we've talked about before. And in case you're unaware, the deeper you, just real briefly, the deeper you set a knot into the handle, the more backbone it has. And that's because as it goes up, you're constricting um, its ability to splay. So the deeper you go, the less it will splay. So you know, like if I had my hand all the way up here and we only had a few millimeters, it'd be super hard to splay. But if you have it down here at around 15 millimeters, which is where a lot of knots get set, is at a depth of about 15 millimeters. Um, you would have all this ability to splay. But, you know, if you come up high on it, it won't splay. So that's why I do that. Yakety schmackety. So here's one handle. I bought this out of the seconds bin. So I now have all the colors that he has available. This is a red. And then this is the one that I purchased for the Sparrow. Oh, yeah. That's going to be perfect. Just a simple little ivory and clear red. I love it. It's beautiful. And then clear and red. All right. What do we got? Don't let me forget. I got a few things uh, else I want to talk about. And a couple other little mail calls that I want to show you while we soak this in some water. After you're familiar with this type of video from me, you know that I don't do anything special with these synthetics. Uh, when it comes to cleaning them and preparing them, all I do uh, is drop them on the floor. Let them accumulate a bunch of German Shepherd hair. And then I hold Emily down and I clean it. Ah, beautiful. No smell at all. It does have a few German Shepherd hairs. Let's try to get rid of those. I think we got them. Look at that. So right here next to me, I have two Mula STFs. I'm going to end up giving this one away um, as part of the members um, program or club, whatever you want to call it, that, that I recently kicked off and I've been talking about in two other videos. So the first brush giveaway, I've now decided that the winner in November, if you're familiar with the member thing, got to join the membership and in the very least the brush club, razor club or pony club. But for $1.99, you would get an opportunity to join the club. And in November, I'll be giving away a brush. And as of right now, you'll have a choice between the Umo ST1, um, regular density, 25 millimeter, or this 25 millimeter uh, Mula STF. And that's in uh, a handle that I got also from AP Shapeco. Because I now have two Mulas. I will not, not be getting, 
STF. So I won't be getting rid of this one. This is the one I got from uh, Adam at Nameless Works. That is the 25 millimeter STF, just like this one. So I'll put this one aside because I didn't get that one from Andrew. Here they are, and I'll be putting photos up there. This one does look a little darker in this lighting. It is a little darker. The shade is slightly different. And I want to do, uh, today is Monday. I want to use this every day this week. And hopefully by next Sunday, uh, we will be able to do a more in-depth review. But I will have some videos coming with it. So it feels, it does play easier already, I can tell. All right, so let's sit this in my Boba Fett and let him soak. Got water in there, going in. I like that handle, you guys. It's like an amber resin ivory right out of Jurassic Park kind of handle all right so I'm gonna let that soak first you uh, I do have soap here already I'm gonna talk about that in a second real brief I'm gonna do some videos with this I'm so excited a, a viewer of the channel his name is Jared and that's all I'll say um, about his name he reached out to me a few weeks ago and asked um, if I had the Razel Rock Super Slant and that if I didn't, he wanted to send me one that he had an extra. I was like, okay, um, are you sure? You know, right? Like, you know, just send me an extra. So, you know, I don't, what's that saying about a gift horse and the mouse or what, mouth or whatever, however that goes. Long story short, Jared, I did not pay for this. A member of the community, just a regular guy, sent me the Razor Rock Super Slant with the haloed UFO handle. This thing is badass. Not only did he send this, he also sent three other base plates. I'm going to be talking about these more in depth. I just want to show you guys that I have them and where I got them um, while I'm talking about some mail calls. And then, to make it even sweeter, Like it felt so much like Christmas morning uh, when I got the mail today because he also included it in this genuine real leather case almost looks like it's handmade um you know like homemade i don't know where he got it there's no company names on it jared i know i've already told you thank you and did my best to express to you just how much this means to me uh i shared with him how i had a little bit of a, a rough weekend i'm not going to go into it in this video but i am already like head over heels in love with this razor just the appearances of it the feel of it thank you sir so I'll be using this in my very next video and I have a plan how I'm going to use that with this next mail call and this here. If you saw Matt Pasarsic at Razor Emporium has recently came out with his own razor blade line, the Rex Supply Co. I ordered 20 of them, so four packs of five. We're going to give one away here in a minute bundled with something else uh but what i want to do is i'm going to do a video either tonight or tomorrow night i'm going to use this brush i'm going to use this razor but then i also want to use a razor um, that i'm more familiar with so we'll use two rex blades in that first impression video one in the super slant to try it out and then probably one i'm more familiar with another slant like the timeless or something like that uh maybe even the mercure 37c uh I thought about using the console. I might go with the console and uh, kind of put those, you know, head to head. So I'm super excited. Like today was the mail call of all mail calls between, you know, getting this guy here that we're going to, you know, get a little bit of this water out. With 37% organic plant-based fibers. Before I start whipping it up, let me show you what I have in the bowl. I have a collaboration between Subtle Art Soap Bricktown Grooming and the Shave Supply. So Joe at Subtle Art, Phil at Bricktown, and Gareth at Shave Supply. I bought this a couple years ago, whenever it was that it came out. And when it did, I bought an extra tub and I had planned on giving it away like on Instagram and then never did. So all of these up here, I'm gonna be giving away as part of my 2K subscriber giveaway. Here is another tub, brand new. Never opened. This is unobtainium, and my understanding, it will never be done again. Irish Brigade. And if I recall correctly, it's Irish Moose, or was it? It reminds me of Green Irish Tweed. 
but something is telling me that it's Irish Moose. Either way, it's a banger. I love it. We have Elfinimo's Del Arte or Del Art, Master Soap Creations Peppermint Lime, Callisto from Elfinimo, Spring Cabin from McDuff's, a brand new uh, Unobtainium Williams Mug Puck, and then Latigo Soap. Uh, everything except for Latigo, I will do um, overseas. And the reason why I won't is because also with the Latigo, I have the box and the, and the matching splash. So whoever wins gets to choose between whatever soap they want, okay? Open to anyone and everyone. And with that soap, I will include one of these packs of Rex blades. So if you already have one and you want more, great. If you don't have them, they literally just came out the other day. Uh, Matt's supposed to have a video coming by like this next weekend, I believe it is, uh, talking about them. So, oh, also, so if you want to enter for the soap, hashtag soap. If you want a scoop, you can pick between one of these two scoops, I have a Hendrix Classics & Co. Spade Scoop, or one of these scoops that Pete made for me with my mug on it. Yeah, my face, not a mug, but that's actually my face if you didn't see one of those. So, so far we got hashtag scoop, hashtag soap. Then we're gonna do two gift cards. One courtesy of Sean at MacDuff's. That's a $25 gift card to MacDuff's Soaps out of Canada. That's open to anyone and everyone. Now, this next one is Conus only at the request of Joe at Subtle Art. I love Subtle Art and I need to get around to doing more reviews from Joe and his products. If you guys never checked Joe out, he's a veteran, damn good people. Following Seas, I have, that's his newest base. I love it. Irish Brigade, you just saw. Night Out, that's one of his early tubs. And then Mid Cape Barber. Good stuff, Maynard. If you've never checked out Subtle Art, do so. And Joe at Subtle Art has given us a $20 gift card to his website, Conus only. So $25 to MacDuff's, $20 to Subtle Art. Hashtag thanks MacDuff's. Hashtag thanks Subtle Art to enter those giveaways. Let's continue whipping this up and see how it feels on my hand. I have to add a little bit more water. I strained out just a little bit out of it. You know, I've always, you know, so I did a Rambles, Rants, and Razors video about my thoughts on Badger brushes and the Badger uh, fur industry. I love Badger. Okay, so if you've never seen me talk about Badger, I love Badger brushes. I love boar. I love horse. Like, all of them, right? But one something I've always thought about, you know, is like when we're using these synthetics, the synthetic, it, it's just plastic and it's exactly what it is. And that's why it's also, you know, really hard for these synthetics to be as good uh, as a badger. Because I mean, we're trying to take plastic and use plastic to replicate hair. So I think it's really cool though, to avoid using plastic and you know, to avoid using petroleum based products um, that Mula has come out with this organic fiber. I just think it's, you know, it just gives people one more option uh, in, the, in the world of, of wet shaving. And uh, hey, even though we already have like a million and one options, we can use a million and one more, right? Nothing wrong with two million and two options. So, so far, this is whipping up a great uh, lather, just like I knew it would. Joe's base is this creamy, milky uh, lather that a lot of guys are looking for today. It is definitely a tier one soap, as good as it gets. I love it. I also saw when I was looking at the AP Shave Co., he has this new Timeless Brush Series. And it looks like all of them in there are $20 or less. And it looks like it was all basically like your 
older type, if you will, uh, synthetics, kind of like with, um, the Sinbad. This is a Sinbad knot from his, his store there. I've had that. Um, so check that out. If you guys haven't checked it out, I was looking at it when I just before I started this video, and that's when I first saw it. Not going to earn a dime um, from you guys shopping at AP Shape Co. I just think that Andrew does a great job with customer service, and uh, he's always had a good selection of knots and handles, and it just continues to grow. Look at that. You'd be a little wetter. I know a lot of you guys are going, oh, it needs to be wetter. I don't like my soap that wet. So just another little splash. We're going to whip this up a little bit more. Let's recap the giveaways. By the way, he has splash now. Joe does at Saddle Art. Killer post shave. Bravo, Joe, if you see this. All right, so to recap, $20 gift card, Subtle Art Soaps, hashtag, thanks, Subtle Art. $25 to MacDuff's, hashtag, thanks, MacDuff's. Then we have the scoop. You get to pick if you want the spade or if you want the Tobin scoop, hashtag scoop. And then you choose between any one of these soaps up here. Uh, the winner will choose just hashtag soap. And then when you contact me, we can talk about which one you want, or you can let me know which one you want, if you already know which one you want. And I would definitely, if you've never had a Williams, I'd recommend grabbing that Williams just so you have one, or the this one here that I'm whipping up, which is the Irish Brigade. So good. All right, let's feel this in my hand. And I'm going to shave with this here in just a little bit. And if I have time, I'm going to do it on camera. But at the very least, uh, I am going to be using this tonight. And once again, all I'm going to do before I actually use this is I'll just go rinse it out, dry it off. And then that's all the more cleaning that I do with these synthetics. I really feel like, I mean, it's plastic. It's been in a box. It's already been washed. All I'm really trying to do is remove any dirt or debris, you know, dust that might be up inside of it. So... I love the Mula STF. Let's see how this feels. Not a lot of backbone, which the Mula STF didn't have a lot of backbone, which is kind of, you know, silver tip fiber. That's what the STF stands for. And nine times out of 10 with a silver tip, you're not going to get a lot of backbone. It has to be something that's set in such a way that everything is compressed like this is a silver tip and it does have good backbone but that's because of the way that it is set in this knot or in this handle but most of the time you're not going to get a lot of backbone from a silver tip it's just not what they are it feels great you guys it feels like just going right here off my hands which you know isn't much of a test uh but just going right here off my hands it feels just like the mula Maybe a little different. I can't wait to use this. I want to thank you guys for joining me. And uh, as we check out the Mula STF Serrano. I think I'm saying that right. I bought that off of AP Shaveco. I think it was 57 bucks. Andrew is located out of Canada. And from the time I purchased it to the time it got here today, it was only about two weeks. Not bad. Maybe a little less than that. week and a half. I love it. I love brushes. Have you ever noticed? And don't forget about that membership. If you guys haven't checked it out already, the brush fund is $1.99. I'm using all the money from that to buy more brushes like this one right here. Uh, the money that I used to buy that brush was from money off of that I, I've made off of YouTube. And then there's only the one company that I earn a commission from and that's Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. So whenever you use my link to Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, uh, I earn a 10% commission. Other than that, I don't make money off of any of these products. And if and when I do, I will always shoot it to you guys straight and tell you when I do, because I don't think there's any shame in, you know, using these kind of products. Um, and then, you know, if a company out gives me a link, so it's the little big things. And for me, being honest and straightforward with you guys, regardless of who I upset, it doesn't really matter as long as I'm giving it to you guys straight. And, uh, Sometimes it gets me in trouble, but you know what? That's the, that's the way it goes, right? I don't know. I got, I got a lot on my mind. <sighs> Let it go, Tobin. Let it go. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.